Well, as you shop this holiday season, a reminder from the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. Make sure the gifts and toys you're buying are safe for those you're giving them to. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither has more on how to make sure your presents don't pose a danger. It's the season for giving, but the wrong gift can be dangerous. We want you to have a safe holiday season and not end up in the emergency room. The latest report from the Consumer Product Safety Commission found there were more than 152,000 toy-related ER-treated injuries to children younger than 15 years old last year. The injuries included lacerations, contusions, and abrasions to the child's face and head. There were also two deaths. That fatalities were associated with choking on a small part and also supplicating on a plush toy that was added to an unsafe sleep environment. The report shows non-motorized scooters continued to be the category of toy that led to the most injuries in children under 15. If you choose a riding toy such as a scooter, bicycle, skateboard, be sure to also include the safety gear that goes along with it. That includes a well-fitting helmet and other pads. When it comes to children under three, keep small balls and toys with small parts as well as button batteries out of reach. Instead, choose age-appropriate toys. It's so important that you choose age-appropriate toys. The best way to do that is to look at the age labeling on the product packaging and use that as a guide. Once the gifts are opened, also be sure to discard any plastic wrappings or packaging on toys so young children don't play with them. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Mandy, thank you. Now, one hidden danger for younger children is deflated balloons. The U.S. Product Safety Commission says to keep them away from children younger than eight as they can pose a suffocation danger if ingested.